When a person is active, he or she has the energy to do his or her daily activities. Without energy, work cannot be accomplished. So we must store a lot of energy in the body. In this video lesson, we will discuss energy. Specifically, we will differentiate potential and kinetic energy. Energy comes from a Greek word energos, which means active. Like work, energy is also a physical quantity, and it is defined as the ability to do work. When you do work on an object, there is an increase or decrease on the energy of that object. Energy comes in different forms, such as mechanical, thermal, sound, radiant or light, nuclear, electrical, and chemical. But in this video, we will focus on the mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy of an object relative to its motion. It has two types, namely kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by bodies in motion. Anything that is moving, such as a ball thrown upward, a speeding car or a rolling ball have kinetic energy. The kinetic energy depends on an object's mass and the speed of the object. It is denoted by the equation Ke equals mv squared, where Ke is the kinetic energy in joules, m is the mass of the object in kilograms, and v is the speed of the object. From this equation, the greater the mass of the moving objects, the greater the kinetic energy. Also, this equation reveals that the kinetic energy of an object is directly proportional to the square of its speed. Potential energy, on the other hand, is the energy possessed by bodies at rest. It is known as a stored energy having the potential to do work. When an object is raised to a certain height, energy is stored in the object. It is said to have the gravitational potential energy. Since there is a stored gravitational potential energy, the object can do work by setting the object to move downwards by virtue of the acceleration due to gravity. Gravitational potential energy depends on the weight and height. It is expressed using the equation Pe grav equals mgh. This implies that the greater the weight, the higher the gravitational potential energy. In the same way, the higher the object from the ground is, the greater the potential energy stored. Another form of potential energy is the elastic potential energy. This form of energy is stored in a spring or any elastic material. Just as we can store energy by increasing the height, we can store energy in a spring by stretching or compressing it. It is denoted by the equation Pe elast equals 1 half Kx squared, where Pe elast is the elastic energy K is the spring constant which depends on the elastic property of the material and X is the stretch or compression distance from the equilibrium position. If you want to know more about science, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.